Okay, so this is the top of the inn, um, where all the bedrooms are. Stairs come up and around. Um, so that night, while you guys are all sleeping, Jen, you are awoken by the sound of someone fiddling with your door. Oh, snap. I like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous now. I feel threatened. Can I do a perception perception check? You perceive that someone is fiddling with your door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is, there, is there like a little hole thing where I can like see what the hell is going it's on? It's 20 goblins. <laughs> okay, so you want to sneak up to the door and see if you can like <laughs> peer under it or through the keyhole or something? Like see like if it's like a really mean person or like... Okay, so you get so up to so like the door. Is this like negative intentions? <laughs> Are you dangerous? <laughs> I have a reason. Fine, I just open the door and I say, what's up? Who, no matter what it is. You just walk to the door and throw it open and say, what's up? Yeah, I say it very loudly. Okay. Um, you see a, a dark-haired elf dressed all in black kneeling at the door fiddling as if they were fiddling with a lock. So when you open the door, they kind of stumble back a bit and stand up, stare you directly in the eye. And I say, what's up? Loudly, yep. so that five people are like around my tear it. Because I want people well, to I mean, know. People are, asleep. are you saying it loudly? Yeah, but it, it's pretty loud. Like, what's maybe up? Maybe I screamed it. Fine, what's I up? It's like that. <laughs> Scream, what's up? It's that fucking what's Budweiser up? commercial. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh the elf, God. clad all in black, you can only really see eyes here, draws a short sword and stabs at you with it. What the fuck? That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> the elf actually does stab you for two damage. None right. of us are hearing so, anything of this. So, right. Bregor, you are right next to her. Um, you you, mm -hmm. you wake up from the loud what's up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, but Bubble Butt and Vince, you still are asleep. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, um, I wake up and I grab my sword. Really? Yeah. I mean, I... What you heard was her saying, "What's up?" Really loudly. You would really grab your sword like that? <laughs> I mean, I'd be pretty fucking <laughs> freaked out of that. He's I mean, a nervous <laughs> little elf. Was it like a terrified scream? Or oh, no, like... you heard her. It was a Budweiser scream. <laughs> okay. She's really right. happy to see someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. No, I, I'll just, um, I'll, I'll go to my door. I'll open my door and look out <laughs> into the hallway towards Abigail's room. Okay. Looking out, you see Abigail bleeding <laughs> out of her side while a dark ro uh, robed figure holds a sword in her hand. All right. Then I turn around, run into my room, grab my sword and come back to the hallway. Abigail, what do you do? Um, just try to like run out of the way because I figure someone's going to wake up from my woods. Uh... Like run back into like, your room or run like, out of your room? Like run out of my room like to the hallway or something, like towards the stairs. Okay. Is that possible? Yeah, that's possible. Okay. So, I mean, right now you two I are kind of standing. I just get farther away from the dude. Yeah, you guys are standing in the doorway. So you bolt to the side and run down the stairs. All right, you but take off. there's no way you can, like, escape, right? There's, like, it's, like, upstairs of an inn, so... There's windows right. and stuff, it looks like, no? I'm yeah, gonna say as a seasoned warrior, this... with Whoa. all this commotion, I wake up now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, okay, sure. I was pretty drunk, Someone so I just got to it. I have to imagine she doesn't, like, get stabbed silently and then, like, pad off quietly. <laughs> <laughs> and, like... Or near, and then like, yeah, a loud what's up, followed by a ee, I've been stabbed. Followed Sounds kind of like that goat video, that scream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I actually do grab my sword, and you it is now revealed that I sleep completely in the nude, uh, when in the comforts of an inn. Okay. Let's just say I put the long and longborn. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, as long it's as we're on the topic, and Abigail and Brigger, in what state of dress do you sleep? Um, <laughs> my back I hurts. will say I'm not sleeping naked. I don't know what I'm wearing. Some 
Okay. Like, but you're not. You're not. Walking I, is there yeah. an equivalent of pajama pants for elves? Because that's what I'm wearing. Yeah, elven pajama pants. We can, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm <laughs> rocking. Super comfortable. <laughs> Actually, back in the in this day, you're like so bushed that you don't even have to worry about wearing it. <laughs> you're just. Covered. You don't know that, okay? No, no. El yeah. Elves don't have hair. We decided this. In Neil's uh, world, right. hell, elves don't have hair. Right. I refuse to comment on this matter, but you're wearing an elven nightgown. There you All go. right. That works for me. Cool. Okay. So, Jen, you take off down the stairs. Brigger, you grab your sword and hop back out. Vincent, you're running around the hallway to where you heard the screams come from. Uh, tug Tugabug? What's your name? Tudagub. <laughs> Tudagub. Tudagub. Oh, like Tugabut. <laughs> Tudagub. Am I awake? You're still sound asleep. Yeah, yeah. I was too drunk. Yeah, yeah, you were. You were blackout drunk. Yep. All right. So, do I see the assailant? Um. Well, Bregor sees him first. So we'll deal with Bregor yeah. first. So Bregor, you come back out with your sword. The assailant is chasing after Abigail down the stairs. <clears throat> okay. Uh. I will I'll give chase, and if I can, I'll, I'll try and attack him. Okay, so you run off. Uh, Vincent, you come around the corner. You don't see anyone, but you see Abigail's door and Bregor's door are wide open. The, what, do you see the blood or no on the floor? No, there, there's not that much blood on the floor. You probably hear okay. us running down the stairs, though. Okay. Yeah, you do hear them running down the stairs. Um, okay, so I see this. I realize that... There's probably someone in danger, and the only way I can help them is if I'm clothed. So I run back in my room, <laughs> and I start putting on my clothes, including my armor, and then okay. I give chase. Okay. It'll take you a couple minutes to get fully dressed. Yes. All right. But very quick minutes. Yeah, yeah. Shorter I'm than dressing that. dressing hurriedly. Okay. All right, so um, Jen and Bregor, let's go back to the other map now. <laughs> I'm regretting this was, uh... <laughs> I'm yes, sorry, I already lost two HP. Your, or you don't slam it open and go, What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you guys get to the bottom Tom of the God's stairs. chuckling in his sleep. <laughs> I never played D&D, okay? It's fine. It's good, That's it's how good. I would react in real life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you get to the bottom of the staircase. Um, what, what do you do, Jen, or Abigail, once you get out? Down to the stairs. Uh, I like. I'm pretty sure there's like a place where they have like a kitchen or something with knives. I would imagine. So I'm gonna go grab one because I would assume that I'm not sleeping with my weapons on. Right, right. Yeah, there's no room in your nightgown for for daggers or anything. Okay, yeah. so you. I should run... have grabbed one with, before I went to the door, but whatever. Okay, so I go to go grab a knife. Let's go. Okay, so you run around the bar behind the the kitchen area. Is there still the dude like that sleeps that reads at night? Yeah, he is hanging out over here by the window and by the bar. Why is the ping not pinging? Yeah, we don't. There we oh, go. there you go. Yeah, and while I go grab a knife, I say like, some elf dude tried to attack me. He's. I okay. say his description and I say. So, oh. <laughs> running to the kitchen screaming, you're describing the guy who's chasing behind you. Yeah. I, okay. Well, I see this dude is like... She's seen the movie now. Taken, man. She knows what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet I do, oh, help, help. He's like six okay. foot tall, wearing all black, and he stabbed me. I'm going to get a knife and try to defend myself. Ah. <laughs> I see a stranger danger, stranger danger. <laughs> okay. I need an adult. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so you run over to... Uh, what do you call, uh, to the kitchen area and you grab a knife meanwhile the stranger following you pulls out a couple of darts and throws them at the guy the innkeeper who's on watch and hits him twice out of three times Jesus actually like one of them hits him in the face and the other hits him in the chest and he slumps over to the ground unconscious maybe oh, dead this guy sucks <laughs> So you grab a knife. Um, let's go back to Brigger. Brigger, you get down the stairs now, and you see kind of in the middle of the room is the the cloaked figure in black, and mm -hmm. you don't see Abigail anywhere. You have your sword. Okay. Um, 
can I can I attack him? Yes, you can. All right. Yeah, I I approach him and attack him. Okay. Roll to hit. So one d twenty plus one. <clears throat> so you can type that in the in the little roll thing, right? So what what do I type? Slash slash roll one d twenty plus one. Okay. Um. Eight. Okay. Eight. You miss. Very badly. Actually, not that. Badly. Kind of bad. You totally missed the the assailant. You strapped your bow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Jen, your turn now. You are in the kitchen area, which is back here. Can I throw the knife at him? Yeah. I mean, you can walk. You will walk back out and throw the knife. Well, then I grab many knives. The, okay. There must be many, so I grab many knives. Okay. Then I throw one in his face or wherever I can. No, 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 not in his face. Okay, I, I aim for like the chest area. You throw a knife at him. Yeah, All ideally right. not in the face. Wherever. Because <laughs> I'd like to talk to him if I can. Uh, okay. I wouldn't worry too much about this. All right, I just throw the freaking well, knife. Uh, D twenty plus two to hit. So you gotta type that in the chat, Jen. What? In the roll twenty thing, there's a thing uh, that you can type in. I don't see it. In the bottom right. Oh, that's what you want to okay. roll. Oh, didn't show. And what do I write? You write this. Jen wasn't here for the beginning of the show. You type what that's, he just typed. Yeah. Slash oh, roll d twenty plus two. Slash roll d twenty plus two. Yeah, you see, you wanted no. the eighteen. That's Great. what you. Yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> no, your your knife sails over the assailant's head. Um, <laughs> Jeff, uh, Vincent, by now you are running towards them, but you're not here yet, so they get another full round of action. Okay. The the cloaked assailant uh, kind of eyes the both of you because she's he she it is in a pincer, kind of right here, while Bregor is here. And Jen is somewhere over in this area by the bar. Um, and s takes out of its belt a little ball and throws it on the ground and a plume of smoke comes up, blocking her, blocking Bregger's view of her, him, her. You can tell it's a female. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that just wasn't working. Uh, oh. And she backs out towards the doorway. Um, Jen, you can see her go towards the doorway, but Bregger, you cannot. So is she like running towards the door? Like her back is, she's like, um, I see her back right now. No, she's backing up towards the doorway. While looking at me? Yeah. With her oh. on. Yeah. I just, like, is it more precise if I'm actually like next to her to try to stab her? Or is it the same if I'm trying to throw things? Um, you are actually better at throwing than you are stabbing. So, and I, I'll try and to I would, throw another. <laughs> yeah, but the problem—it doesn't throw, seem instinctive, though. It's kind of weird. Well, like you figure thinking, that if you try to stab someone, you just stab them. Yeah, but you're you're trained in throwing things. You have a really high dexterity, okay. so very good at you know hitting things where you aim them. All right, so I'll roll another d20 plus two, right? Yes. For probably one or something. Four. Awesome. <laughs> Great. I'll just stab myself or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you, you throw the, the knife and it lands near the fire pit. Um, uh, Bregor, all you see is smoke everywhere and it's kind of choking you. What do you do? Holy shit. <clears throat> uh, I scream, go to the door, don't let her get out. I don't want her to leave. So all I can see is smoke, that's it? Or is there like... Yeah, I mean, the, the smoke bomb was thrown, like, right at your feet, so you're covered in smoke. You don't know how thick the smoke is. It's just, that's all you see. Okay. It's like, uh, strike if you're actually in a smoke bomb area, <laughs> and you can't okay. see um, I just, I run through the smoke. Okay. Uh, and try and get to the other side of it. Okay, try you run it through, and it's you. not very thick. It's only, uh, like, a few feet in front of you. And you get out, and you see the elf backing out the doorway. Okay. Um... Can I make an attack? Or am I too far? No, you're too far. Okay, uh, I'll just I'll just move towards the doorway. Try and I'll try and block the valve if possible. Okay, 
Jeff, you come running down the stairs and you see Gregor at the doorway, just in his elven boxers. Jen holding a couple of knives. It looks like she's about to throw them towards Bregger in her elven nightgown. <laughs> and here you are in your full arm, uh, clothing and armor. Um, so I shoot Ryan a look, right? And this look is... <laughs> <laughs> it's your standard... Kind of looks like you're dealing with an assassin. She's got a gaping so uh, knife wound in her stomach. And she's been throwing knives willy-nilly about the room, so usually that means she's panicked in some way. Uh, you look alerted. So I kind of make my way to Ryan, because that's kind of our natural battle stance is when is I back him up. and I don't really see anything. I'm just kind of... I, I give him that look, and I'm walking towards him now. Okay, his back is to you, but he feels it. Oh, yeah, I like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, he put he tried to get in the way of the door, but he put his back to the room, or the stairs no, he are went behind. He towards the door while the elf went out the door. Ah, chase, yeah, yeah. So I'm I, I assume I'm following him out the door. Then that's what's right. happening. Do you guys actually go outside? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Does no one tell Tug Tug No, he's no, he's he's good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. You two run out the door. Jen, what are you doing? All right, so since the dude is knocked out and conscious, I figured there's some stash of money somewhere, so I'd like to grab it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and then head out. And then... Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so you search behind the bar for some money. Yeah. Um, and you find a bunch. I'm going to tell you in it. chat. I just take it, and then I run out to follow them. All right. Okay. Um, you notice as you kneel down to pull out the money that the the innkeeper is not breathing at all, and there's blood everywhere. He seems that's fine. pretty dead. Oh. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's good with me. <laughs> I'm having a nightmare upstairs, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Breger and Vincent, you head outside. You don't see the assailant anywhere. Oh, that sucks. Uh, can we hear them running in any direction or anything? Uh, They're just gone? Yeah, I mean, you head out. It's dark. It's nighttime. There, it's okay. cloudy night, so there's not a lot of light from the stars or moon. And, no. you don't, I mean, they're I'm going to out. look at the heavens, look at the sky, and I'm going to pull a Jennifer Love Hewitt from I Know What You Did Last Summer. <laughs> and I'm going, to, I'm going to scream, what do you want with us? Why us? And I can only imagine there's like a light drizzle coming down. <laughs> and uh, that does that wake me up? Yeah. 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 Why not? You so wake I... up strangely, ar strangely aroused. <laughs> <laughs> so I wake up. I hear Vincent screaming, "What do you want?" With us? <laughs> <laughs> and then but notice the sheets are a little higher I down low. Though. I don't do the cry part. Like she gets pretty upset about it. I just I'm like, <sighs> why? What do you want with us? <laughs> the cries are coming from outside the inn. Okay. Um, well, I'm. I guess I'm just gonna to put on my my prepare for the day is what I do instead of running out. Okay. So get get dressed. Get uh, get my weapon on my back. Eventually, uh, stroll downstairs. Okay, you're pretty sober by now. Okay. Um, so uh, not having seen them outside, what do you do? The rest of you. Um, <clears throat> can we see anything out there? It's, it's pretty dark. Fly? Um. I mean, you can see, but not a lot. What, what are you looking for? Or just looking I'm, around? I mean, I, like elves have like night vision, so I'm just... This is true, you do. Um, you know, the night vision is, is pretty good, but you see across the street, there's some shops down the road, there's some houses, there's kind of a, a mangy-looking cat walking... Do cats get mange? A mangy-looking yeah. dog... Yeah, they do? Okay. Yeah, yeah you sure. That. A mangy cat walking around. It's a street cat. It's a riffraff, if you will. but you don't see anyone else out. Mm. There's a lot of like nooks and crannies and things in the road and places where someone could hide. 
No, it's All not. Right. It's not an open area. <clears throat> I'm going to tug Gregor or Bregor back into indoors as well as Abigail. And we're going to. I ask Abigail what happened, what's going on. And then I remind the everyone that's there that we absolutely have to start posting guards. <laughs> <laughs> am I so? Am I downstairs yet? Uh, not quite. You're you're getting ready for the day. It's a little bit of a process. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Okay. Um. So, so you guys are chatting downstairs, right? Yeah, I tell them what happened with like the assassin and the door thingy. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, and then I say next time I will probably let them open the door and then stab them in the back. Instead of screaming, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> Lesson learned. Uh, I'm going to quickly switch back. Gregor. No, I'm sorry. Um, Tudagub? Tudagub, yeah. Tudagub. Okay, cool. I'm actually getting this. Um, you are get, walking out of your room. Sure. And you see someone move into Abigail's room. It looks... You know, you only catch uh, a heel walking I mainly in. say, Abigail? And start walking uh, towards the room a little bit. Okay. You guys uh, downstairs, he'll hear him say, Abigail? <laughs> but in, like, big ogre voice. Um, All right. Am I uh, aligned with her entryway yes, into her room? And you look in the room, and you see uh, the same person, a figure dressed all in black, kind of shortish, pointy ears, almond shaped eyes. So I recognize that it's not Abigail? <laughs> You're like, that's Abigail! <laughs> hey, hey, Abby. Sad dressing. Morning. So, Good morning! <laughs> I like your new clothes. Um, and the figure is kneeling down next to Abigail's bed uh, pulling stuff out from underneath. So I'm gonna... I, I can't... I don't want to metagame this because I know, obviously know who she is, but I don't know who she is in game. So I guess I'm just gonna be like... Uh, I'll just say, who are you? The, the figure turns and looks at you, kind of looks you up and down once, uh, and starts walking towards you and say, oh, I, I think I have the wrong room. I'm sorry. But why, why would you just walk into someone else's? This is my friend's room. Why would you just walk in here? That's kind of rude. The figure kind of stumbles around a little bit and says, I, I've had a little bit too much wine to drink. I think... Oh, our- well, I know how that goes, buddy. Okay. All right, I understand. Uh, do you want me to uh, walk you to your... That's metagaming it. You have a good night. <laughs> uh, uh, the thing walks to the room directly across from Abigail's, opens the door, uh, and walks in. All right, so I, I guess... Well, that, that was kind of weird, but I mean, I guess they had too much to drink. Uh, I'm going to go downstairs, see what, what the hell's going on. Why would you let someone go in my room and, like, grab shit? They were drunk. I don't. I'm. You don't know this happened yet. Okay, so you go. No, downstairs. I know. I don't say that. I'm just telling you as a person. You go downstairs and you see everyone down there, kind of standing about in their elven night clothes. Yeah, I, I'm just like, was there a party that? I, what the hell is going on? Why are you guys down here? What? Do I notice the guy dead behind the the thing? <laughs> uh, no, he's behind the bar. You can't actually see him. All right, so as I'm saying all this, I want to walk over and act like I'm going to order a drink. Okay. Uh, you walk over, and you look around for the barkeep and kind of peer over the bar to see if there's anything over there, and there's a pool of blood and a, a dead barkeep with a couple of darts in his chest, or a dart in his chest and a dart in his face. Did one of you guys pick up some darts when we were in that goblin cave? Did you guys see this dead person? What, what is going on? I tell JP that, uh, yeah, somebody tried to break into Abigail's room, and they also killed the bartender. It was, uh, and then I described this. Hold on, hold on. What? Black. Hold, she was just upstairs when I walked down here. The the person that we just described. Yeah, it was. It was. So an I don't elf. say anything. I just go running upstairs now. <laughs> okay. And yes. I run outside to see if there's someone getting out of the window. I, I'm just I like, what the fuck is going on here? Up. Why is everyone running around? Why is there a dead... I guess I'm just going to walk upstairs at normal pace while everyone else is running. Yeah, okay. I go up there too. So Vincent runs upstairs. Bregor and Tudagub walk upstairs. Abigail runs outside to yep. check outside. Okay. So I want to make sure she doesn't get out. <laughs> um, 
All right, so as you guys get to the, the Jeff, uh, Vincent, as you get to the top of the staircase, you see someone, the same dark cloaked figure, poking their head into Bubble Butt's room. Yeah. And then looking at you and running around the corner. I give chase. You give chase. Okay. You guys walking up the stairs, see Jeff bolt down the hallway after pausing at the top. We follow after. after Ryan, you go ahead and, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm 420 pounds. Just go. I'll be behind you. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Vincent and Bregor, why is this not pinging? Vincent and Bregor kind of run around the hallway. Um, okay. And Vincent, when you get over to this last leg of it, you see the figure over here by the top of the staircase. Because this isn't a wall next to the staircase, this is actually like a balcony that looks down over it. And they get to here and they hop over the staircase. Do I see this? Yeah. yeah. So you're kind of like. So I immediately, I'm scared. immediately gonna, I'm immediately gonna say command stop. You cast command stop. Yep. Boom. Okay. So you see them jump off. You cast command stop, and they pause and stare directly at you, frozen in motion. Vincent, you catch up at the top, uh, to above them, mm -hmm. and you're, you're coming around the corner. Abigail, you're still outside. You haven't heard or seen anything. But. Don't so, I see her trying to get out of the window and stopping? No, no, no. You're at the front door. This is on the back, back side of the bar. And they're not out. They're nowhere. They're not out, out of the window. All right. So she's, she's stopped at the bottom of the stairs, right? And I'm at the top? Yes. I'm immediately going to run at them and then do a Zangif where I pick up both legs. And what's, <laughs> what's the wrestling move where you kick someone with both your legs? I can't think of the freaking move. Drop kick? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop kick them. With some elevation from the stairs so that they're completely knocked out. Okay, I, I'm going to lose some nerd cred here. I didn't play much Street Fighter. What does the Zangief move look like? Basically, I'm just like jumping at them with my legs straight horizontal and trying to knock them down. Okay, okay. A flying leg um, kick. Flying leg kick, yeah. Roll to hit, D20. All right. I like ah. the sound it makes. So can I? Here's what he does. He goes for the kick, but it moves like an inch forward, and he just kind of falls on his side. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna say he tripped on the staircase. That's fine too. Down yeah. To kind of bowling ball style. Um, you you tumble into her, and you guys kind of back up, and you you're splayed out on the ground below. Yeah. She kind of backs up a bit. Jeff, Vincent, you're above them now. Would dexterity dictate whether or not I, too, could make the jump? Well, no, you could make the jump. It's only like a, an eight-foot drop. It's not a problem. Oh, okay. So I make the jump, um, and I'm going to reach to subdue her, basically. So I'm, gonna, I'm looking at my strength, and I'm figuring that I could probably grab both her hands and headbutt the shit out of her face or something <laughs> like that. But I'm looking to subdue her in a medieval fashion. Okay. So you make a make an attack of subduing nature. Roll a d20 to hit. No Is that bumps. just slash roll? Yeah, yeah roll space slash d20. Roll space d20. Ooh, 13. 13. Um, you, you successfully grab the elf's wrist. You said you wanted to head butter? I, th I think that's within character. I think I would probably not be okay with just grabbing a wrist and looking to do some damage. Above the okay. shoulders again. You this grab time. the wrist, pull her towards you, and slam your head into her as she gets to you. And you hit yeah. her successfully. Um, roll a d3 for damage. Okay. One. Okay. Pencil go. Okay. Um, what, what is the other? Bregor. You have gotten to the top of the staircase now. You saw Vincent jump down. You see below you uh, uh, Tudagub kind of sprawled out on the floor going, oh my god, what just happened to me holding his head? <laughs> okay, uh, I also jump... I also uh, jump over the balcony. And okay. um, am I too far away to, to do any kind of attack like Vincent did or... Vincent's holding her and is blocking your path. You can't... Unless you want to attack through Vincent. Uh, I see. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll try and surround her somehow. Okay. So you go around the the left side to, for a flank. Jen, you're outside looking at the windows, trying to make sure that no one's jumping <laughs> out, and hear people inside like jumping on the staircase, and you hear, hear Tugga like rolling down the staircase and shouts and so on. All saying, right. So I'm Stop. going towards the noise so I can like see what's going on. Okay. Meanwhile, you hear upstairs doors opening in the tavern. Um, Am I? You hop. You run inside. You see the dark cloaked figure, uh, kind of locked in grip with Vincent and Brigger on the flank. What do you do? I go there and I say, "What the hell are you doing, <laughs> bitch?" <laughs> <laughs> Am I standing uh, up at this point? Yeah, yeah, you've stood up by now. All right. And I poke her. You it's like a knife. I, I did this. I, I'm like, what the hell are you doing, bitch? And I did this <laughs> with my knife. <laughs> my kitchen knife. The sweet, innocent looking elf with the yeah. knife. On. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I scream once. <laughs> 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 um. Okay. At this at this point, I'm asking her. So just a few drinks. Like I'm just saying, like, oh, just a few drinks, huh? Just a few drinks. Do you lie to me? She glares at you guys. Doesn't say anything. Um, Vincent, you Vincent, you're right-handed, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, so you're holding onto her left hand. She still has her short sword and her right. And you didn't. Well, ask I was saying it's holding on to both her hands. He did oh, say you, you that, grabbed though. both of her hands and, yeah, didn't and headbutted, okay. yeah. Um, okay, she tries to break free of your grip. So we're going to do an opposed strength check. So what I'm going to want you to do, do is roll a d20 and add your strength to it, which is 15. So d20 plus 15. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Uh, he rolled a 19. You got four. Yeah. Um, she breaks your grip and tries to run. But, Bregor, that means you get a free attack on her as she tries to run past you. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to attack her. I, I, I try to um, tackle her instead. Okay. So you leap on her. Yeah. All right. Um like, uh, did you see the Ronda Rousey fight last night? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was that? That it was, was the, the main event. The yeah, the main fight. event. So I, I jump on her like in the first, the opening where the the challenger jumped on her back, kind of like that. Gorilla or whatever her name yeah, is. Yeah, and do kind of like a face wrench. Okay. Roll, roll a d20 to hit. Okay. Yes. 17. No, not bad. You jump on her successfully. Um, and actually... No, she stays... Um, you don't knock her over, though. She keeps her feet underneath her, but you are actually quite a bit larger than her, and so you're kind of grabbing on behind, one arm around the neck, and she can't really move too much. Jen, your turn. You still have a knife, and you're in front of her. I stab her leg. <laughs> 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 that bitch ain't going nowhere. Stab her legs. Okay, d20 to hit. 